If you had 30 minutes to hide from a nuclear blast where would you go? The lady that used to do my taxes told me that her daughter and family were in Hawaii when the false alarm went out. They got into bed with their small children and watched kids' movies, waiting to die, but keeping the kids unaware and happy. This went on for some time. Oh God did I miss something in the news today. There's a building at the college I work at that goes 80 feet underground and has 6 foot thick inward sloping concrete walls I'll be in there. I'd go outside and wait to die I am not gonna deal with that shit. I'd always heard a basement of a library is good because books may absorb some radiation. Subway system, sewer system. Underground basically. Edit. Thanks for my most upvoted comment ever. You all make great points. I think it's really situational. Depends on blast radius, distance, etc. Overall, not an easy thing to survive. I would find the nearest elementary school and hide under one of the desks. Anyway, that's what we were taught when I was in elementary school. To the liquor store, so I could hide from my problems the way I always do. To bed for a 30-minute nap. I would probably go to the bank and ask to go to where I stored valuables. Under the blankets, nothing can get you under there. The nearest city is over 30 miles away, and it's all open country from where I am and for at least another 10 miles to the mountains in the other direction. Either I'd jump in the truck and try to make it to the mountains through the res or crawl under the house and hope for the best. I'd go have a pint at the Winchester and wait for the whole thing to blow over. I'd probably climb up onto my roof with a lawn chair and a cold beer and watch everything go to shit. The Eisenhower Tunnel on I-70 in Colorado, 1.7 miles long, unless it turns into Stephen King's The Stand. The afterlife. The nuclear blast won't be able to kill me if I kill myself first. I'm not within death radius of any place that could plausibly be nuked. Even if someone decided to go absolutely nuts on us in Australia and sent 10 nukes at Melbourne, I can't see them hitting Frankston, Cranbourne and Mornington, the three closest semi-plausible targets. I'd shelter in place. Hide? I ain't getting drafted for WW3 this bomb gonna send me. There is an old building near me that has a basement. I know what boards to move to get into the basement from the outside. It's the only building I know of within about 100 miles that is entirely reinforced brick masonry with a basement, and I'm sure I'd spend the apocalyptic event chatting with several homeless people who also know about the board. We'd all survive though. A fridge. I would go buy all the frozen pizzas I could carry and head to the flavor zone. Drive away from the blast. It should take less than 30 minutes to get out of the blast area. A grocery store. Eat everything you can before you die. Switzerland, they have the 110% capacity of their population in bunkers so there's room for me. I work at a nuclear pharmacy which has dosimeters, Geiger counters, potassium iodide tablets, radiac spray, PPE and lead, and the break room office is an extra vault that was made to house a particle accelerator known as a cyclotron. I'm at work right now. So, assuming I'm safe from the initial blast radius, I'd probably go sit at my desk, scroll through Reddit and watch the world end. I'd try to do that guy jacking off from Pompeii thing I feel like someone should pay that forward. If I knew it was coming, I'd just drive away. Distance makes all the difference with nuclear blasts. I'm close to mountains in the outer suburbs of a big city, I'd drive in that mountain direction as we often have winds from there. Minimal fallout that way too. If leaving the city was not an option, I'd just hit up my basement. It's below ground enough that I think I'd be fairly safe. I would not hide, I will stay outside, I know where the nuke is going to be so I go closer. I rather not have the most depressing years of my life. I can't do anything, so I rather just die than live the worst moments of my entire life. Pornhub to have my last fap and then freak out for 29 minutes. There's a fallout shelter in a bank about a mile down from where I live that was built back in the 60s. I'd probably yoink some snacks and a bottle of Jack from the kitchen and sprint down there, then hunker down for a few days. If it's locked, then, well, I can polish off the Jack and wait for the fireworks. Reach over into my nightstand junk drawer and pull out my old Nokia 3310 to shield myself from the blast. I think I'd find a chain-link fence near a playground. Might as well go out the way I lived, 
embracing my knowledge of useless pop culture references like it's a talent. Edit. SP. IG I'm going to dig the deepest trench possible in 30 million. How far am I from the epicenter? Is it a city? How large of a city is it? If it just happens to be where I currently am then I'd drive north. I live in a rural area so not the traffic you'd find in and around a city and at this time of year the wind mostly comes from the north northwest so I'd be driving away from the fallout. I'd just drive as far and as fast as I could. Well according to this film by the National Cleanup, Paint Up, Fix Up Bureau. My best bet is to wait inside a house that has been coated with a fresh coat of good, American, paint and varnish. I'd drive like crazy for 30 minutes. If I drive at 100 kilometers per hour, I would be 50 kilometers from the center of the explosion. A good distance. I'd gather my dogs and cats and go up to our bedroom and cuddle my husband. Give the doggies and kitties some treats on the bed and hope they don't jump off so that my last moments are a cuddle fest. A pillow fort. I'm safe in there. There is an old library built in the 1960s less than a mile from my house with a basement fallout shelter. I know because I always see the old 1960s fallout shelter signs and consider stealing one but the potential of getting caught and being banned from the library for the rest of my life stops me every time. The amount of people wanting to go towards the blast is absolutely spot on for how many of us just want to end it because of this year. Towards ground zero. I'd head for my husband and give it one last ride, because ain't no way I'm hiding from a nuclear blast in this real regular house I live in. Down the street, into the woods, up the path, over the creek, up the hill and into vault 111. At that point just kill me. I don't have time for that shit. I grab a six pack, grab a chair and sit outside calling my family and friends while waiting for the end. I'm not suicidal but any world that would exist after my city gets bombed would be unrecognizable and probably not worth surviving for. Right where ground zero will be in 30 minutes and just eat something tasty. Finally I call someone at the very last minute and say, oh, by the way, remember I had 2 million in the bank. The account number is blast. Behind my girlfriend's ego. I'll chop my head off and put it in the microwave to protect it from the radiation. I'm a diabetic and on dialysis, even if I did survive initially, I wouldn't for very long afterwards. I'd just load Fallout on the PS4 and laugh at the irony. Nowhere. Where the fuck do you go to hide from a nuclear blast?